This is KAG's HD Sports. Johnny Flippin' Football, wearing number two, giving the Redskins a number one, and paying even more to the NFL soon. Probably. Obscene gestures aside, Manziel's Monday night debut was anything but offensive. The 21-year-old was 7 of 16 through the air while the Redskins put him on the turf three times. But down by 11 in the fourth, Johnny breaks through, completes a third down pass to Josh Gordon. That moves the chains, leading to what the box score says is a touchdown pass. One yard throw, seven on the run. The Browns lose by a point. Here was Mr. Football after his night. Picking which side I'm going to, sticking with that, and really throwing the ball. I mean, I felt like I came out um, in the earlier in the earlier series and really tried to force everything and, and not um, and not let it fly like I should have. I need to get better at that and just go out and throw the throw the dang ball. You know, I get words I get words exchanged with me uh, throughout the entirety of the game, every game, um, week after week, and um, should have been smarter. It was a Monday night football game. I mean, the cameras. We're probably solidly on me, so we just need to be we need to be smarter about that. Manzel and the Browns play three more preseason games before the regular season starts. His alma mater has less than nine days until their season opener. AM and South Carolina start on Thursday night, August 28th, on the SEC network with new players in key spots. Now defense is a question for the Aggies that their coach feels improved this fall. Just running to the ball, all of them running to the ball. I mean, we're getting population to the ball uh, every day and we're able to show examples every day of, you know, what would be an explosive, not being an explosive, a big play. That's an, we call that an explosive uh, because guys are running to the ball. And, and typically, when you get a lot of guys to the ball, that creates turnovers too. You know, you have an opportunity to to knock the ball out. So that's been the biggest thing: just guys being able to stay fresh. As A&M and South Carolina chase a conference title, the Cameron Yeoman begin preparation for a third consecutive state championship run. Last season, Yeo repeated as Class 2A Division I champs going 15-1 a year after an undefeated stint. The team believes that experience should help in pursuit of a three-peat. It's huge. I mean, I think, you know, there's no doubt there's a price that's got to be paid to win a championship. And these guys have seen that and they understand that, so they're willing to pay that price. We're persistent. We don't go away. Uh, in the fourth quarter, we'll, we'll still be playing hard. We're a fourth quarter team. Um, I, I think that Yeoman is just kind of in our bloodline to, to play four quarters and play hard all 48 minutes. Now we lost focus with that Manziel gesture, but Cleveland Browns head coach Mike Pettin was supposed to make that decision today on a starting quarterback. He said he could select either Manziel or Brian Hoyer as early as tonight after meeting with his coaching staff. So still no word, but they're hunkered down in Ohio waiting for the choice. So we don't know if he's number one yet, right? We don't. We know he wears number two, and we know what he thinks of the Redskins, but we don't know if he's the starter. Could that affect his chances, you think? You'd have to imagine so. Petten talked about it and said he's going to play the guy that's best for the position and helps them win games. So read into that however you want. Wait and see, I guess. Yeah. Exactly. And everybody's talking about it. I was just on the East Coast, and they were talking about it, it there. <laughs> well, when Manziel does anything, people talk. That's just yeah, how it works, that viral so. effect. Mm. <laughs> All right, thanks, Chris. We'll have your last check of the forecast, then we come back.